hello students so welcome to sitaram ias online tutorial so in this video we are going to learn about art and culture current affairs completely from july 2022 to march 2023 the first topic is alluri sitaramaraju so he is also called as manyam virudu he led rampa rebellion to revolt after the sudden declaration of podu cultivation as illegal by the british rule so it led to a revolt during 1922 and may 1924 through the gorilla warfare the next topic is national symbols of india so the state emblem is an adoption from the sarnath lion capital of ashoka it represents the seal of republic of india and national anthem is janagana mana composed by rabindranath tagore and was adopted by constituent assembly on 24th january 1950 national song is vande mataram it was composed by bankim chandra chatterjee national calendar was based on the saka era and national bird is peacock national an uh, animal is tiger national flower is lotus and national tree is fig tree that is indian fig tree the next topic is amendments to flag code of india so recently center has amended the flag code of india the national flag can be flown both in the uh, day and night and it can be hoisted only between sunrise and sunset and uh, the flags can be made of polyester and can be of cotton wool silk and kadi for making hand spun hand woven and man made flags okay the next topic is national emblem of india so during 250 bc lion capital was erected by Ma uh, mauryan emperor ashoka to mark where the buddhist buddha imparted dharma chakra pravartana so national emblem is a graphic representation of the lion capital along with the national motto satyameva jayate written below it the four majestic lions roaring and facing the four cardinal directions represent power courage pride and confidence it stresses on equality and justice in all the spheres of life and the four animals appear to be rolling the chakras in the abacus the elephant represents conception of prince siddhartha bull represents the prince siddhartha in his youth and the horse depicts siddhartha renouncing his royal life in search of enlightenment the lion is the depiction of siddhartha attaining enlightenment under the people tree and his transformation as buddha so dharma chakra or ashoka chakra is the wheel of law that signifies dharma and 24 spokes of the chakra represent the number of hours in a day and portray the passage of time the spokes signify uh, moving forward in the life and thus one avoids stagnation of the mind the next topic is convention for safeguarding of intangible cultural heritage so here uh, we have to learn the meaning of intangible cultural heritage so it means the practices representations expressions knowledge skills as well as instruments objects artifacts and cultural spaces that are recognized as a part of their cultural heritage so 14 indian elements were included in the list of uh, cultural heritage and durga puja kumbh mela yoga are recently added okay the next topic is world's 50 greatest places of 2022 so time magazine released the list of world's 50 greatest places of 2022 and in that the uh, in that list ahmedabad and kerala are also present the next topic is mangar hillock so it is uh, it is in rajasthan in 1917 some individuals uh, individual bills revolted against british rule and gathered at mangrove hillock here bills are the local tribes present in the rajasthan so those bills have bill tribes have revolted against the british rule and gathered at mangar hillock for peaceful meeting they are surrounded and shot by british forces and this event is also known as mini jallianwala bag massacre 
द नेक्स्ट टापिक इज कंगाना हल्ली सो आर्कियाजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया प्लान्स टू कंजर्व एंशियंट बुद्धिस्ट सैट नियर द कंगाना हल्ली इन कर्नाटका सो दिस प्लेस इज फेमस फॉर द डिस्कवरी ऑफ अ बुद्धिस्ट महास्तुपा एंड स्टोन पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ अशोका द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज वाइट ऑनियन सो वाइट ऑनियन फ्रॉम आलिबाग दैट इज महाराष्ट्र गॉट जी आई टैग द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इंडियन नॉलेज सिस्टम्स इनिशिएटिव सो इट इज एन इनिशिएटिव इट इज एन इनोवेटिव सेल अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन टू प्रोमोट इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी रिसर्च एंड सोसाइटल एप्लीकेशन एंड एम्स टू स्प्रेड रिच हेरीटेज एंड ट्रेडिशनल नॉलेज इन द फील्ड ऑफ आर्ट्स लिटरेचर एग्रीकल्चर बेसिक साइंसेस इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी आर्किटेक्चर मैनेजमेंट इकोनॉमिक्स एक्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज फील्ड मेडल सो इट इज ऑफन डिस्क्राइब्ड एज अ नोबल प्राइज इन द मैथमेटिक्स सो यूक्रेनियन मैथमेटिशियन बिकेम द सेकेंड वुमेन टू विन द फील्ड मेडल नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज चोला एरा आइडल्स सो तमिलनाडु आइडल विंग सी आई डी हेज सबमिटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स टू द यू एस गवर्नमेंट टू रिट्रीव द सिक्स लास्ट एक्विसाइड चोला एरा ब्रॉन्ज आइडल्स सो अंडर द एंटिक्विटीज एंड आर्ट ट्रेजर्स एक्ट नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ एंटिक्विटीज विदाउट अ लाइसेंस इज अ क्रिमिनल अफेंस ओके सो कमिंग टू राजेंद्र चोला वन सो राजेंद्र चोला वन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज गंगई कोंडा चोला एंड इज द सन ऑफ राजा राजा चोला He built a temple at Gangai Konda Chola Puram to mark his victory over the Pala king Mahipala, and Parakesari and Yudhamala were his titles. And coming to Raja Raja Chola, the father of Rajendra Chola I, he built Brihadishwara Temple at Tanjavur, and his son, that is Rajendra Chola I, constructed Brihadishwara Temple at Gangai Konda Chola Puram. Okay, and Airavateshwara Temple at Daru Saram. was built by rajendra chola 2 so all these three temples are dedicated to the lord shiva and are designated as a great living chola temples by unesco world heritage list in 1987 the next topic is adi chennalur so it is a megalithic site in tamil nadu recently archaeological survey of india has unearthed ancient crown from the huge burial site next topic is anantal lake so anantal lake is is situated in the south delhi ministry of culture has declared anantal lake as a monument of natural importance national importance under ancient monuments and archaeological sites and remains act of 1958 The next topic is Adi Shankar Acharya. So Adi Shankar Acharya is also known as Jagat Guru Adi Shankar Acharya. He is well known for Advaita Vedanta and Dashanami Sampradaya. He is considered as the incarnation of Lord Shiva. Adi Shankar Acharya established four Vedic mats. They are Dwaraka in Gujarat, Shringeri in Maharashtra. puri in odisha and joshi math in uttarakhand and there are six schools of indian philosophy they are vedanta or uttara mimamsa nyaya yoga vaisheshika purva mimamsa and samkhya so vedanta or uttara mimamsa is subdivided into six sub schools they are uh, there are uh, there are different gurus who contributed for the development of these six sub classes they are advaita by adi shankar acharya and in in that he advocated that individual self that is atma and brahma are same and knowing this difference can cause liberation next is vishishta advaita by ramanujan in this he preached ramanujan has preached that all the diversities belong to the a unified whole next is dvaita by madhava acharya so it states that brahman and atma are two different entities and bhakti is the root to it uh, to eternal salvation and next is dvaita 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 by nimbarka so it states that brahman is the highest reality and the controller of all next is shuddha dvaita by vallabha acharya it states that both god and individual are same and not different next is achintya beda abeda 
by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It states that individual and self is both different but not different from Brahman. Hoyasala temples. So Hoyasala temples at Belur, Halebed and Somnathapura in Karnataka were nominated for World Heritage List of 2022-23. So the founder of Hoyasala dynasty was King Ripa Kama II. They ruled Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu regions during 10th to 14th century. So the three Hoyasala temples are Chennakeshava temple in Belur. So it is a temple of Ekakuta. So Ekakuta means a temple with one shrine and it belongs to Vaishnavism and it is a, it has a stepped pond called Vasudev Tirtha. Next is Halebidu. Halebidu temple or Dwara Samudra temple. It is in Halebid and it is Dvikuta. Dvikuta means a temple with two shrines and is dedicated to Lord Shiva. And the next temple is Keshava temple. Keshava temple is in Somnathapura and it is built by the king Narasimha III and is dedicated to Lord Vishnu. These temples were built from soapstone and is known for its lathe turned pillars. The next topic is traditional Indian textiles. So UNESCO has released a list of 50 exclusive and iconic heritage textile crafts of the country under the report titled Handmade for 21st Century Safeguarding Traditional Indian Textiles. So Government has also launched several initiatives to, to, uh, to promote the traditional art and craft in India. So they are National Handicraft Development Program, Comprehensive Handicraft Cluster Development Scheme, Ambedkar Hastashilp Vikas Yochana, Handicrafts Mega Cluster Mission, Marketing Support and Services Scheme. The next topic is Naval Traditions in India. So new naval flag was unveiled during commissioning the INS Vikrant. So the flag was changed many times also before. Uh, it was changed for the first time in 1950, then 2001, 2004, 2014 and now. So tricolor flag is placed on the top left. You can see in this picture. So on the top left tricolor flag was placed and on the right blue octagonal shape which contains national emblem was placed. So here uh, in the octagonal blue octagonal shape it contains national emblem placed on the top of the anchor that depicts steadfastness and the octagonal shape was designated to represent eight directions symbolizing multi-directional reach and multi-dimensional operational capability of Indian Navy. So the system of Indian Navy evolved during Indus Valley civilization in Lothal at 2300 BC. So it was uh, Lothal was believed to be the world's first tidal dockyard. Next is even during the Mount Mauryan period, traces of Indian Navy was uh, tra traces of Navy was found, and even Shatavahana period, Gupta dynasty and Southern dynasties like Chola, Chera, and Pandyas were also involved with navies. Next is Mughal Empire. The Mughal during the Mughal Empire, it it land it largely. Uh, depended on the la uh, land based economy and they did not concentrate on the sea affairs. So with this the Arabs and Europeans came to India and occupied many shores. But two great kings Tipu Sultan and Chhatrapati, Maha uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj took control over their sea and resisted monopoly over trade by British. The next topic is Evidence of 12,000 year of habitation in Chennai. So Archaeological Survey of India found artifacts belonging from Mesolithic age to Pallava age at Vadakkupattu village at outskirts of Chennai. The next topic is Sitta Navasal. So Sitta Navasal or Chin Chitta Navasal is a Jain heritage site in Tamil Nadu and it is the second century rock cave temple of Arivar Kovil who are the Jain monks who conquered their senses and uh, other statues like Mahavir statue, meditation hall and Pandya painting are also present in this cave and uh, the paintings used here are of fresco secco technique 
so they are 17 there are also 17 polished rock beds called eshadi pattam and burial pots known as mutumakkal tazi to bury the jain monks after death are also present here the next topic is revisions in scheduled tribes list so four tribes were added to scheduled tribes list through the constitution st order amendment bill of 2022 so they th those four recently added tribes are hatti tribe hatti tribe is in himachal pradesh next is um, nari kovaravam or uh, and kurivikaran so these both tribes that is nari kovaravan and kurivikaran tribes are present in tamil nadu and next is binjia binjia tribe is present in chattisgarh so hatti's hatti tribe which are who are present in himachal pradesh sell homegrown crops vegetables meat and wool etc and narikovaran are jackal catchers kuruvikaras are bird eaters binjia are ethnic group also found in odisha jharkhand and have rich culture and traditions the next topic is asia pacific institute of broadcasting development so it is a regional intergovernmental organization of un economic and social commission for asia and pacific that is un escap in the field uh, to develop the field of electronic media development next topic is mahakaleshwar temple so mahakal lok corridor was recently inaugurated by prime minister in ujjain so mahakaleshwar is situated in ujjain and on the banks of river shipra it is one of the 12 jyotirlingas in india and this is the only jyotirlinga which faces towards the south direction the next topic is numismatics in india so numismatics is the study and collection of coins tokens and other coins like objects so in ancient india coins included uh, the depiction of sun and various animal motives trees hills etc and some were geometrical symbols in dynastic coins of indo-greeks shaka pallavas and kushanas majorly include god goddesses or other or the portrait portraits of issuers and during medieval period the coins included with islamic devices calligraphy and uh, as referred as tankas jittals etc and during the british india coins included portraits of prince william william IV and queen victoria and during modern india coins included Mah uh, mk gandhi Jawaharlal Nehru, Indra Gandhi, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, Sardar Vallabhai Patel and Subhash Chandra Bose etc. So the next topic is Modera. So the Sun Temple of Modera is located in Gujarat. So it is the first heritage site of India to be powered solely by solar energy. And it is one of the four main sun temples and is located on the banks of Pushpavati river. It is Maru Gurjana style of temple architecture. So the other three temples, three main sun temples are Konak sun temple in Odisha, Martan sun temple in Jammu and Kashmir and Dakshinartha sun temple in Gaya. The next topic is Nobel Prize in Literature. So, French author Annie Ernaux was awarded Nobel Prize in Literature. So, before independence itself, Rabindranath Tagore was the first Indian and non-European to win a Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913. The next topic is Nobel Peace Prize 2022. So, one individual who is the human right advocate that is Alice Bial Bialyatsky from um, Belarus and from Belarus and two other organizations that is the Russia Human Rights Organization Memorial and Ukrainian Human Rights Organization Center for Civil Liberties were awarded the Nobel Peace Prize 2022. 
The next topic is Nansen Refugee Award. So this award is given to honor individuals, groups or organizations who go beyond call of duty to protect refugees, internally displaces and stateless people. And Angela Merkel, a former Chancellor of Germany, was awarded for protecting refugees at Syria crisis. Kutub Shahi architecture. So the step wells at Kutub Shahi tombs of Kolkanda Fort was awarded UNESCO's Asia Pacific Award for Cultural Heritage Conservation. It got the award for distinction, award of distinction, and the award of excellence was given to Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Museum at Mumbai and next is uh, award of merit was given to two structures one is Damakonda Fort of Telangana Fort in Telangana and the other is Baikula Station which is Asia's oldest railway station commissioned in 1855 1853 in Mumbai the next topic is Mangar Massacre so, on November 30, 1913, because of the suppression, forced labor, bonded system and taxes on farmers, even during the famine situations, um, the, the thousands of Bill tribes protested against it and got gathered on the call of the tribal leader, Govind Guru. So, the British soldiers fired cannons and machine guns at the... Uh, unarmed tribals of Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh and Govind Guru was sentenced to 20 years of imprisonment later for his good conduct he was released so Govind Guru was a revolutionary leader he led a Bhagat movement in 1908 to improve the condition of will tribes and he also propagated practices like vegetarianism and abstinence of, from alcohol Next is Lachit Barbukhan. So he was the commander of Ahim forces, Ahom forces in Assam. He is best known for fighting off the Mughals, defeating them in the battle of Saraigat in 1671 on the banks of Brahmaputra river near Gawati. So recently 400 birth anniversary celebrations were done and the aim of organizing the celebrations was to sensitize the people of the country on the bravery and war skills of Lachit Bharpukan. The next topic is crafts in India. So Pahari miniature painting so or Kangra style is developed in the independent states of Himalayan foothills in India. The next is Matani Pachedi. So it is a Kalamkari of Gujarat. Next is Pithora paintings. So these are done by Ratva, Bil, Nayak and Tadi tribes of Gujarat and parts of Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. Next is Agate bowls. So these bowls are said to have healing properties from balancing the energies both either in the person or even within the surroundings. So agate or akik is a semi-precious stone founded in the mines of Rajpipla and Ratanpur mines in Gujarat. The next is Patan Patola. So it is an ancient art of double ikat of Patola is woven in a pure silk. So it is made of Patan region in Gujarat. Next is Kinnauri Shal shawl so it is famous for famous shawl from himachal pradesh and it is its geometric designs are heavily influenced by the central asian culture the next topic is uh, the next one is yes the next topic is shadhani darbar so shadhani darbar is a temple located in the pakistan's sindh province and is a sacred place for hindu devotees so under pakistan india protocol on visits to religious shrines of 1972, pilgrims from both countries are allowed to travel to some shrines every year. The next topic is Indira Gandhi Prize for Peace, Disarmament and Development. So an NGO 
Pratham was awarded for ensuring quality education for children, particularly during the COVID-19 pandemic. This topic is Sri Aurobindo. So, Sri Aurobindo was 20th century Bengali poet, philosopher, spiritual leader and a revolutionary freedom fighter. He was a part of Alipur conspiracy case in 1908 and helped in establishing Anushilan Samiti in 1902. During Surat session of Indian National Congress in 1907, he joined the extremist group led by Balaganga Tilak. In 1914, he started a magazine, Arya, and it led to the foundation of Sri Aurobindo Ashram in 1926. He believed in the internal yoga. The next topic is geographical indications. So, GI tags or geographical indication tag were given for the products across the country so gi tag is gi is defined in the trips agreement as an indication which identifies a good as originating in a territory of a member or a regional locality in that territory so the products which are which were given gi tags recently are gamosa so gamosa also known as bihu one is a traditional textile cloth of assam Next is Alibag White Onion. So it is a sweet, it is of sweet taste and it is grown in the low sulfur content soil and also does not have strong odor. So it is grown in Maharashtra. Next is Thandur Red Gram. So it contains 22 to 24% of proteins, which is three times of cereals. It is a traditional crop in fertile deep black soil of Thandur region in Telangana. The next topic is Lada Kraxe Carpo Apricot. So it is packed with vitamins and low on carb calories and rich in sorbitol. Sorbitol is a natural glucose. So it is grown in Ladakh region. Next is Attapadi Tuvara. So it is an important traditional crop of Attapadi village, Attapadi tribal area in Palakkad district of Kerala. So it is rich in protein, carbohydrate, fiber, calcium and magnesium. So it is grown in Kerala. Next is Onnattu Kara Ellu. So it is a traditional annual oil seed crops. It is grown in Kerala. Next is Kodugallur Pottu Vellari. So it is a fruit in making juice in some uh, states and uh, Okay, in Kerala, it is it is used for making juice and in some states it is used as a vegetable. So, it belongs to the God family and it is rich in vitamins and it is grown in Kerala. Next is Attapaddi Attu Kombu. It is also in uh, found in Kerala. So, it is a type of beans with violet color in stems and fruits. It is helpful against cardiovascular diseases and anti-diabetic properties it also has anti-diabetic properties so it is grown in kerala next is kantallur vettavada velutulli so it is a garlic so it this type of garlic is specially uh, contains high amount of sulfites flavonoids and protein so it is grown in kerala the next topic is unesco's tentative list of world heritage sites so three sites were considered for the nomination or to unesco world heritage site list so the vodhagar town vadnagar town this is uh, in gujarat the next one is sun temple at Modora, modera in and its adjoining monuments in Gujarat. The next is rock cut sculptures and reliefs of Unnakoti, that is Unnakoti range. So it is in Tripura. So these three were uh, listed in the tentative list of World Heritage Site. The next one is Badrachalam and Rudreshwar Temple or Ramappa. So under Prashad scheme, that is pilgrimage, rejuvenation and spiritual uh, heritage augmentation drive, Launched in 2014-15, it aims to provide integrated infrastructure development to pilgrimage and tourism destinations in the country. So, Badrachalam and Rudreshwana Temple will be developed with better, better infrastructure under this Prasad scheme. 
next is sri shailam temple so sri shailam temple is um, will also be developed under the prasad scheme and it is built on the top of nallamala hills and on the banks of river krishna it is the only temple in india which is significant to both shaivism as well as shaktism so it is considered as one of the 12 jyotirlingas of lord shiva and one of the 18 maha shakti peethas of parvati devi so the 12 jyotirlingas found in india are mahakaleshwar temple omkareshwar temple mahakaleshwar is in madhya pradesh omkaleshwar is in madhya pradesh nageshwar temple is in gujarat somnath temple is in gujarat triambakeshwar is in maharashtra bhima shankar in maharashtra rameshwaram in tamil nadu mallikarjuna or shri shailam is in andhra pradesh grishneshwar is in maharashtra kashi vishwanath is in uttar pradesh vaidyanath is in jharkhand so these are the 12 jyotirlingas found in india the next it is panini code so panini was a sanskrit grammarian who gave comprehensive and scientific theories on phot- phonetics phonology and morphology so panini's grammar known as ashtadhyayi contains 4000 sutras to explain the science behind sanskrit so panini thought a uh, meta rule in in the event of the conflict between two rules of equal strength in sanskrit language the next topic is erra matti dibbalu so these are also referred as red sand hills situated at the outskirts of visakhapatnam city it was declared as the geo heritage sites by geological survey of india in 2014 the next topic is sangai festival so it is named after the grow antler deer called sangai it is found in kaibul lamjau national park and is seen over floating biomass called pamlao so it is uh, this festival is celebrated in manipur so another important topics here is thangta is a famous martial art of manipur and sangol kajai is an indigenous form of uh, indigenous form of polo game so next topic is hornbill festival so it is a festival of indigenous warrior tribes of nagaland to revive and protect the culture of nagaland so hornbill is named after the tropical bird that is reflected in their tribal culture expressions songs and dances the next topic is veer bal divas so nation observed the first veer bal divas by paying tribute to guru gobind singh's martyred sons shahib zada baba zorawar singh and shahib zada baba fate singh so guru gobind singh was the 10th sikh guru he created khalsa panth and fought the battles of anandpur in 1700 and Ch- chamkaur in 1704 against the moguls he also wrote zafar nama in 1705 the next topic is assam movement so it was started under the leadership of all assam student union and all assam gana sangam parishad in between 1779 to 1985 it started with a fear of illegal immigration into state threatening the local identity and heritage the next topic is sahitya academy award so it is a literary honor given to the writers of most outstanding books so 22 languages of eight schedule and english and rajasthani are also recognized by the academy the next topic is national sports award so it consists of six awards given to the sports person coaches or organizations for contribution towards the growth of indian sports so it is given under the ministry of youth affairs and sports to commemorate the birth anniversary of hockey legend major dhyan chand the next topic is monuments of national importance so economic advisory council to prime minister has released a report called monuments on of national importance urgent need for rationalization so india has around 4500 monuments of national importance under the protection of archaeological survey of india so article 49 of the constitution directs the state to protect monuments places and objects of national importance across the country 
and ancient monuments and archaeological sites and remains act of 1958 and 2010 provides for preservation of ancient and historical movements and archaeological sites the next topic is charaidio maidams so or aham burial mounds so government of india has nominated assam's aham burial mounds for unesco world heritage center for 2023 so these are the mounds that contain the royalty of ahom dynasty so these are commonly known as the pyramids of assam and are located along the foothills of patkai range the next topic is sammed shikar and shatrunjay hills so jain community is protesting against jharkhand government to declare sammed shikar in parashnath hills at as tourist spot and eco sensitive zone so parashnath is the highest peak in jharkhand and other important key points here are sadal tribe santal tribes live in jharkhand so first jaina tirthankara is rishabnath and rishabdev and 23rd jain tirthankara is parshwananatha so shatrunjay hills are situated on the banks of shatrunji river of gujarat the next topic is roots of democratic values in india so democratic values the democratic values are present in the cholas uttara merur inscription in anubhava mantapa of lord basaveshwara book and in kakateya traditions and in bhakti movement the next topic is Ex- excavations at harappan site in gujarat so in kuch district of gujarat in juna katiya village row of graves with ceramic pots blended with uh, beaded jewelry animal bones etc were found so they belong to pre urban Her- harappan period the next topic is nalanda mahavihara so two 1200 year old miniature votive stupas are discovered by archaeological survey of india so votive stupas are offered in the fulfillment of vows so about nalanda mahavira so it is a unesco world heritage site it was instituted from 3rd century bce to 13th century ce gautam buddha mahavira have stayed in nalanda so this site has prospered under gupta dynasty harsha of kannauj and pala dynasty the next topic is um tullal so tullal is a 18th century recite and dance art form of kerala and is famous for its humor and social satire the next topic is padma awards presented by president so padma awards are one of the highest civilian honors of india and is announced every year on the occasion of republic day but these awards cannot be used as suffix or prefix they are given upon the recommendation of the padma awards committee so the total number of awards excluding nri foreigners should not be more than 120 the next topic is param veer chakra so it is the highest military award for discipline uh, displaying distinguished acts of valor during the war time The next topic is Kelo India Youth Games 2022. So it was first hosted in 2018 in New Delhi and the current edition is 5th and it is held in Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh. So water sports are also included in Kelo India Youth Games. The next topic is Jeevan Raksha Padak Series Award 2022. So these awards were given to the person for meritorious act of human nature in saving the life of the person. Next topic is Maharshi Dayanand Saraswati so he was a great social reformer he founded Arya Samaj in 1875 in Bombay to counter the social inequalities he initiated shuddhi movement to bring back islamic or christian convert 
converts into Hinduism. He wrote Satyard Prakash where he emphasized the return to Vedas principle. He gave the slogan Go Back to Vedas. He was against the practice of untouchability and advocated Vedic education for all caste. His teachings was influenced by the great leaders like Subhash Chandra Bose, Lala Lajpat Rai, Mahadev Ranade, Bhagat Singh, etc. He was the first person to use the term Swaraj. The next topic is Best Tourism Village Competition Portal. So this portal was launched by Ministry of Tourism. So Ministry of Tourism will select the best village through three level competition that is district, state and national and award the villages based on, upon the sustainable development goals. The next topic is Kiladi excavations. So Kiladi is a tiny area in Tamil Nadu. Excavations here proved that urban civilization existed during the Sangam age, which was believed to be between 3rd century BCE to 3rd century CE. The next topic is Siang Unlying Unying Festival. So it is an important festival of Adi community in Arunachal Pradesh. Next is Attukal Pongala. So, Atukal Pongala is the largest uh, segregation of women for the festival in Atukan Temple in Tirvanantapuram. So, women here prepare sweet payasam and offer it to the goddesses Bhagyavati. So, Bhag Bhagavati. So, it is com uh, commenced on Malayalam month of Makaram Kumbam on Kartika star. The next topic is Sangeet Natak Academy Awards. So it is the apex body in the field of performing arts in the country. So it is it was set up in 1953 to preserve and promote intangible heritage of India's diverse culture. So these awards are the national honors given by the government to perform uh, to the performing artist, teachers, scholars in the field of performing arts. Vaikom Satyagraha. So it is a temple entry movement. So on March 30, 1924, the Satyagrahis walked in procession towards the forbidden roads, public roads. So the board on the public road cautions the oppressed communities against walking on the road. So E. V. Ramaswamy and George Joseph led the Vaikom Satyagraha. So Vaikom Satyagraha was withdrawn on November 30, 1925 after the consultations between Gandhiji and W.H. Pitt who was a commissioner and granted access to the three of the four roads to the Vaikong temple. So other temple entry movements are Aruv, uh, Aruvipuram tem movement in 1888 led by Sri Narayana Guru. So this movement was one of the first movement of equal rights to the temple entry. The next is Kalaram temple entry movement. So it is led by Dr. B.R. Ambedkar. Next is Satyagraha in Guru Vayur. So it is it was led by K. Kelappan and later abandoned on the request of M. K. Gandhi and Indian National Congress. The next topic is antiquities in India. So coins, sculpture, paintings, objects detached from a building or cave etc. are defined as antiquities under the Antiquities and Art Treasurers Act 1972. So as per the Archaeological Survey of India, 486 antiquities are missing since 1947. The next topic is Matua community. So Matua is a sect of Vaishnavite Hinduism. So it was founded by Sri Harichand Thakur. So he wanted to establish a casteless and classless society. So in 19th century, Matuas are considered as untouchables. So during partition of India and creation of Bangladesh, many Matuas were migrated to India. The next is Kattunayakan tribe. So these tribes were found in Tamil Nadu and Kerala. So Oscar awarded documentary Elephant Whisperers is a tribute to the conservation legacy of Kattunayakan tribe. So they speak the mixture of all Dravidian languages.